Let's start with a meal on Sunday and after a schoolgirl filmed herself apparently being propositioned by a cross-channel migrant or mm. if you're a Guardian reader being culturally enriched by an asylum seeker Liverpudlians have been rioting and setting fire to a police van and they were so angry they didn't even nick the hubcaps first Scott, you've got this one Yes, um, a violent riot outside a migrant hotel last night was sparked by fury over an online video of a schoolgirl who said she was sexually harassed by a 25-year-old man allegedly saying at the local hostel. She was walking by, uh, she was speaking to a friend on her phone, and the guy said something suggestive to her. Mm. And she turned, she said, what did you say? And he repeated himself. And she said, you know, you don't do this in this country, you'll go to jail for this. We've, we've actually got the clip mm. to, to run. And the video has been seen by 150,000, well, it's been on Twitter 150,000 times. So it's been right. witnessed, yeah. Wow. Are you going to run the clip? How old are you? 25. 25. I'm only 15. Okay, good. That's, no, that's not good. I want, I want to... No, sorry. What's up? You don't do this in this country. It's, it's, you go to jail if you do this. Really, I want, I want. No, no, you're not right. No. And yeah, so that's the clip there. Mm. Uh, and um, so local residents were, were up in arms about this. And yeah. uh, they showed up at this uh, migrant center and they started to uh, make accusations and they started to pelt the police with missiles and forced the police to wear protective clothing, including riot gear, shields and helmets. A total of 15 people have so far been arrested by the Merseyside police. And there was a charity group, or uh, yeah, some members there were cornered in the in the migrant center itself. Yeah, couldn't get out. And yeah. they said they were cornered by right-wing thugs, which I thought, you know, Chris, don't don't you think like they always say, you know, this is racism, this is far-right far extremism, right. and really it just seems like it's motivated by concern for the child and concern well, for what's being done. Look, I mean, on the one area. hand, saying they were up in arms is putting it mildly. I don't know if you've seen it, but like police vans on fire. It, it looks like last days of the world. It's, it's outrageous. Mm. But having said that, everybody's now hearing about the Rotherham problem again. Um, mm. Sorry, Rotherham grooming gangs, I shouldn't say problem. Yeah, um, and, and, uh, understand and various other right. towns and Right, and cities. understandably, you know, parents are terrified, I yeah. guess. And I feel like it's sort of a straw that's going to break the camel's back, isn't it? People are already... Um, well, you've said before that, that the migrants should be housed near the... Guardian journalists. Well, yes, I, oh. I don't understand like why they put the migrants in impoverished and vulnerable working class communities when it's Guardian readers who are massively keen and massively in favour of, of cross-channel migrants coming here. So the, everybody would be much happier if we passed a law that said if you read the guy, if you subscribe to the Guardian, you've got to have uh, seven uh, Albanian... <laughs> OK, guys. old man. Oh, my God, you sound like my grandfather. He's dead for two years. No, I, I, think, I think people are concerned about everyone's safety. I think what, what, what concerns me is the police then came out after this happened and said, you know, quote, social media speculation, misinformation and rumour can actually damage the outcome of the, invest the investigation. And it seems as though the police are distancing themselves from it and saying, it's, it, you're to blame for being concerned. You're to blame yeah. for running this video on Twitter. You're to blame for showing what actually really happened. Happened. Yeah. And that makes me angry because, like, don't blame the victim for something that occurred and is now causing her great amounts of anxiety because what you then do is you, you take the power away from the investigation itself because now no one's going to believe the outcome of it. As yeah. you say, Guardian readers are going to think that the police are too right-wing yeah. and the people that protest are going to think the other, the other way around. No, yeah. There's not going to be any common ground, there's no conversation. And we've seen this time and again over yeah. over two decades of grooming gangs mm. from rather to, to, I think, Telford was, was the most recent one where uh, authorities and police prevaricate and they say oh no but it's not you know it, it, we've got to we've got to tread so carefully and anybody who complains uh, social workers who raise it as an issue get sent on diversity training and everybody's got to tiptoe around the, around the issue uh, when really it's a, it's a serious issue and it's still happening it, ignoring well it if they don't tiptoe though look what happens people then start pelting the police and start fires and turn cars over and and corner uh this care group in a parking lot in liverpool and every, suddenly everyone's threatening each other's lives yeah well, yeah. almost, it's almost as if uh, dealing with the issue, dealing with the uh, cross-channel migrants would have been a good option. Instead of stopping, uh, instead of stopping that happening, stopping I, the flights I, to Rwanda, I do maybe wonder, that would well, have... I wonder how the Balkans are dealing with it, because the Balkan number of, 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 of migrants coming in from the eastern part of Europe are much, much, far, much farther greater than what's coming over to the UK. Yeah. And those Balkan countries tend to have some quite 
conservative political parties running them. So I wonder how they're dealing with this issue. Well, the, the conservative, I mean, in Sweden, for example, the conservative political party, for, for the first time in, in decades, they've got a, a right-wing party. Mm. And that's because that's because of the, the migrant crisis. Uh, Sweden's had some real problems in yeah. the last five years. Yeah, it's been terrible there. Yeah, yeah.